Welcome to an undisclosed location in Texas, Miles. It's a pleasure to have you here. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to Thank meet you, Thank you very too. much. Yeah, well, we met before. I uh, become uh, friends quickly. Uh, I'm very we, part of. Me too. We, uh, we share some similar views and come from very different angles. But uh, we're going to have a great time today. And I just want to uh, uh, announce to those that are listening to us today, there's going to be a third voice. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a voice uh, that will translate, uh, clarify, uh, anything you say in English or anything that uh, will be sent back in Chinese. So that third voice will come in and out of our conversation. And I think that will provide clarity for our whole audience. So we'll, we'll, we'll stay there. And so your story is one that is hard for anyone to believe. Your story is amazing. Uh, your rise in China, your exit from China, and now the position that you're in in the United States um, is one that... Uh, people find hard to believe. I don't find it that hard to believe. Um, I believe uh, almost everything that you say. And I think telling your story to the people of the world and the people of America and China and, and everywhere else is uh, very important for the world to understand what China's grand strategy is. Who's, who is Miles Kwok? Uh, why, are, why are you in the United States? All of these questions are are going to be great questions for you to answer. And then I've got some other very specific questions about uh, data and uh, the Chinese Communist Party and, more importantly, um, the two currency worlds that you and I seem to uh, believe exist uh, and, and um, be so important to China's success or failure going forward. So please share with me, why are you in the United States? What, what happened when you were in China and why did you leave uh, China? Thank you, sir. Yes. Uh, I'm a English no good. Sometimes I need help. But uh, early I want to use the, my Chinglish okay. if you answer. Okay. If you don't understand, I want to translate the help. Perfect. I think it's very easy to answer. Be uh, I'm in America because i anti-CCP. The I Chinese Communist Party. Yeah, come here. I, I want to qualify. I don't anti-Chinese. I don't anti-China. I it. love Chinese. I love you know, my country is yes. China, yes. but I hate CCP. I want to take them down. Understood. I want to take this regime down. You love the people, you love the culture. I love the, I love the country. You culture. do not like the government. Yes, the government and the CCP, come the party. A lot of people in the US feel that way. Then, <laughs> yeah. then I want to give America the warning. Yes. You are in dangerous way. You are too naive believe the CCP. Yes. You say the America is too naive to believe what the CCP is saying. Yes. Yes. This is why I won't provide about the CCP the any truth. Political, culture, army, and the economy. Yes. This is why I'm here. This is why is the CCP want to take me back. They pay the billions. They send the people to come to America, want to use any solution, make the deal, send me back. Yes. And try connect me. Connect me. You know this story, yes. many stories they, about me. They've tried. So basically what's known is the Chinese Secret Service, the MSS, yes. has come to London, has come to America to try to take you and take you back. Yeah. Also, it, they try to use any solution you know, kill me. It, they would love to kill you. You, yeah. I think you are potentially China's number one enemy. The I government, so. the government, not the people. Yeah? I'm as a number one, it's Stephen Bannon number two. No, maybe you're the number three. <laughs> so, yeah. sir, I'm, I'm here. Yes. I, I have, no, I have political asylum yes. in America. You have political asylum. Yes, asylum. Yes. yes. I got this. Then, I want the world to know about the CCP, the truth, everything. Okay. The world now. It's very dangerous because CCP. You look before, one year ago, I talk YouTube, Twitter, only about the Whistle Blue, about the CCP. Yes. Bing Bing, actor, HNA, Wang Qishan with HNA, and Jack Ma, everything. If nobody trusts me. Okay, so don't tell us yet about Jack Ma. <laughs> At the end of the interview, yeah. you have a very bold prediction. <laughs> and I'd love to hear your view on what's going to happen to Jack Ma, but not yet. Okay. Okay. So you're, you're talking about this, uh, what happened with the HNA chairman 
being, uh, let's say, they would say he, he died or fell off a two-foot wall <laughs> this summer. Others, including yourself, would say that he was assassinated. Yeah. Uh, Fan Bingbing uh, yeah. was put into, into jail for supposedly tax treatment. We'll get, get to all of that, but let's go back to the CCP. What is the grand strategy, in your opinion, what is the grand strategy of the CCP in relation to uh, in how it governs its relationship with the United States? What is the CCP after? I think, you know, one year ago, one year ago, it's the September 4, it's the same year today, just one year, I want a speech in the Hudson, but they blocked me because the China government threatened it's the Hudson. Uh -huh. Yesterday, today, great, great day, it's the, after the one year, one it's year. the West President Pence's speech there. There you go. Very so, good. So you were going to speak at the Hudson Institute? Yeah. And they stopped it? It stopped by China threatened, yes. you know, the influence. Then, one year ago, I had a press conference in the DC. I called them all the American world. China CCP have the plan called 3F. It's one, is weak America. Weak in America. Weak America. Yes. Two, you know, to, to make, uh, kill America. This is, this is very seriously. Okay. Three is make it, you know, uh, a terminal America. Ooh, when Ding was a terminal, terminal. Make China uh, make US uh, not stable. No oh, okay. stable. Got it. So Unstable. I give yep. it a warning, but very bad. I think one year ago, somebody think this guy is a crazy guy, liar guy, Correct. Correct. reaper guy, don't need the trust. Right. Then this is the year you, you, Look before, right? You, you look what back. What happened? Yeah. What and you happen? see, you see everything that happened. Yeah, this is happened. Yeah. This is why the few months about the actually the, the chairman died for once in the French. Yes. All the people, oh, Mao Zedong maybe talk is true. So CCP have a strategy. Three F America. Got it. Three Take F. you down. Yep. This is a strategy. And no for the, for those that haven't seen you before on video, um, one year ago you predicted that the chairman of HNA would be killed within a year. Yes, sir. And 363 days later, he fell off a wall in Provence. Yes. Right, uh, maybe it was just coincidental. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, this is HNA, the chairman died. Yes. One year ago, I see the two guys, HNA, one is the president, one is the chairman. Must be one guy, one guy is dies in the one year because Wang Jishan won't kill him okay. because they want you know, disappear any qualified information about corruption. They own the HNA, they right. kill people, they pay in the outside officially spy system. Right. So this happened. Then only one, me. I see the guy, not as the take a selfie, die the world. It's the Wang Qishan, China, CCP government kill him, murder right. him. And this is, this is the concept of the government uh, the, the government edifice of co the Chinese Communist Party, in theory, they don't earn much money each year, right? In yeah. theory. But in practice, what, you're, what you allege is there was this magical 28% um, shareholder of HNA that the New York Times wrote about uh, that uh, no one knew who owned HNA. Yeah. It was an insurance company that started at zero in the last uh, eight years and rose to prominence. Yes. And there was a shareholder that no one knew who they were. Miles Kwok, you say that that shareholder is Wayne Kashan and his family. Yes. And originally, I think people thought that that was crazy and that you were bombastic. Mm -hmm. And now as things are happening, as you predicted, people yeah. are starting to believe more in you. Yeah. Uh, you and I have had the opportunity to spend many hours together. <laughs> yeah. And um, I believe many of the things that you say because everything is connected. Whether it's Miles Kwok talking about uh, the chairman of HNA or Wang Kashan or Fan Bingbing or what's going to happen to Jack Ma, which we'll still talk about yeah. a little later. Those things are all related to how the CCP uh, enriches itself. Mm -hmm. So what you're alleging is that there's a lot of corruption at the top. Uh, that's definitely. correct. Yeah, yeah, definitely correct. And so what do you think the Chinese leadership is worth today. Uh, how wealthy do you think they are personally? Oh, this is very easy. You know, China's every year GDP more than $10 trillion. Right, it's about 12 and a half, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 12 and a half. 
the money goes to where now? You check the last uh, 10 years. Where does the money go? Yeah. It goes, well, to the printing press. Yeah, today I with Stephen Bannon, I talk usually about one question. Yes. Why China print too much currency? China no inflation, inflation too up. Yes. Why? Very easy. To keep the order. Order yes. and American operated all the country the cost by GDP, so ninety percent give the people. Yes. Chinese operated the country, ten percent give the people. You check, American all the social housing care how much? More than twenty trillion. Yeah. China how much? Half a trillion. Maybe of lower. All the housing. Yeah, all the housing. Yeah, yeah. Why? China everything operates at very low cost. Mm. They take the money, mm. put the outside. So you're to, saying you're saying it's it's the same thing as a government kleptocracy in Africa. Yeah, definitely. Right. Corruption in the uh, you know in the outside yes. and the your country. Yes. But this is very dangerous. Very they, dangerous. One day they use this threaten you. Now, this is happening. In. Right. This is right. why you know you look at America. Any, any entrepreneur, any you know investment Chinese China the company. No, they get us threatened. In a bigger picture, there's this concept that uh, a nation state like China, and China has said globally that their economic system is superior to that of Western capitalism. Yes. And when you, when you peel back uh, the onion, you see that there is no larger income and wealth dispersion yeah. than there is in China because the elites are the kleptocrats and the people have very little. Yes. And those that actually rise through the ranks of this hybrid system end up going to jail um, or falling off a wall in, in <laughs> Provence, <laughs> right? But that's a very important distinction to draw uh, when you look at the economy of the CCP versus the economy of Western capitalism, yeah. right? 100% correct.